بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد الرسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهدا رب الشحل صدري ويسل لي أمري وحد العقدة من لسان يفقه قولي My beloved brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah once again we are together in this our weekly program the teaching the series of my morality, my religion. May Allah be our guide to follow the path of akhlaq, moral character, to increase the level of uh, morality in ourselves, in our families, so that our life and people's life will be better, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, there are lots of changes happening in our life. In fact, daily changes. There are major changes, like for example, uh, in many countries in the world, change of politics, government to government. And when that happens, they will change policies as well. So this is example of changes. Change the situation, someone who's poor became rich, someone rich, rich become poor, there is a changes. Someone healthy becomes sick, someone sick, Allah granted him health again, again his good health again, this is changes. Someone who is in this world, he was born from the mother, from the womb of the mother, change to this life, grow, these also changes, babies to kids, uh, boys, girls, adults, and all people, and then the other change will come which is death, which is going to another uh, station. So these are stations and changes of sta uh, station, stations in our life. There are certain changes that happen for group of people, nations, to the whole world, like corona uh, pandemic, the whole world affected. Uh, and there are changes happening to individuals changes because of health issue, because of wealth issue, because of children issue, because of words. Maybe you have said something wrong about someone else that can change everything. Maybe he have uh, uh, said something good that also changes life. Maybe he's acted in his life some, you know, good to someone, things also change, you know. So these are, there are lots of changes and you can the, the results of changes might be in the sport or might be later on. Like study. You are preparing yourself to change for better life, to find a job, to work, you know. So these, all these things will help you to change, but you have to follow procedure of these changes. Sometimes there are needed changes, especially if it's come situation to change yourself from bad to good. Because sometimes if you leave it like that, it will become bad to worse. That's another changes, but in a negative way. And don't depend that the changes will come by itself. You have to work to make it happen. Uh, sometimes there are changes because of a wish of one person. You know, he changed the whole nations. Like, for example, if you read the history, you know, the history of uh, nations and countries, when countries occupy other countries, they bring their cultures, they bring uh, uh, to them, you know, uh, their attitude, their mind, thinking, even religion, and general religion, so, uh, because of that, right? Uh, so these are also changes. But as we said, not always good, might be bad, and might create fitna between people as it's happened in the history and we call it the dark history. May Allah protect us. When someone has a wish or when he thinks that he is right and he has a power and no one can say to him, you are wrong, the, the result of it is that he changed people and people follow that changes even though it's bad, you know, uh, and then uh, uh, the whole situation changed because of the ignorance of the people, because of the weak thinking of the people. 
الحبيب المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم من حديث سيد لا تكونوا كالإمعة يقول كما يقول الناس ويفعل كما يفعل الناس Don't be of someone who just follow people blindly let's say He will say what people said and he will do what people do No We've been giving mind to think ideas to be created and to pass it to others with belief if it is correct and then that the changes to happen in any dark situation where there is negative changes there's a tsunami of bad changes there will be always a, a dim light always there will be a people who will call for changes for good and that changes have to be in a right way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have sent his messengers and prophets to change people's life from bad to great, passing good, of course. And he have set for that rules, commands, instructions, and he have sent the people, he's, he's the best of his people, of the prophets and messengers, peace be upon all of them, to be the example of that changes. So these are something which is very important for us to understand. How Sayyidina Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa I give you an example. Uh, example, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. After his people passed with him the sea, and after all seeing the miracles by their own eyes, you know, uh, then when they passed, you know, this is something they have seen by their eyes. They passed the sea, the sea opened for Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, and, and Later on, Sayyidina Musa asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him to go to Sina, to Sina, in order for him to be, to have a private time with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Munajat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the people left behind, and he left with him, with them, Sayyidina Harun alayhi salam, peace be upon him. But they are one person, a Samiri, who start creating fitna and change people's mind and belief by creating for them, taking their gold and making for them a, a, a bull. And that bull, they said, this is our God. See, this is something from belief to disbelief. And when Sayyidina Musa came back, he took that bull, threw it in fire and, and, and you know, the story is in all in Quran al Kareem. Just you need to open the book of Kalam Allah and read it. This is changes. This is a situation. Change from people, nothing, then they follow the Iman, then they leave, and then they, after that, come back to Iman. This is all situations. They will, uh, you know, uh, somehow, he, he made them, this summary, to follow their, uh, convince them, yani, to follow the wrong path. May Allah protect us. Therefore, اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أمت عليهم بأي الموضوع عليهم ولا الضالين يا الله لا واز always the change is to be in a straight path not to change not to be misguided by the path of those whom misguide or those misguide others or those whom you I mean those whom they they you have punished them may Allah protect us from punishment الحبيب المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم another good example for changes for better for dunya and akhira when he came to mecca after 611 years the gap between him and sayyidina uh, nabi allah rasulullah isa bin maryam peace be upon him alayhi salam 611 years because 571 years the day the year where he was born sallallahu alayhi wasallam and then after that, after that 40 years where he got his message, Prophet Hud Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 611 years, he came to Mecca. Mecca is what? See the changes here. It was a place of worship. When Sayyidina Ibrahim built the house, because the foundation was there, they were there. And he built first house for Allah to be worship, the direction for the people to go. That spot in Mecca, in Awala Baytin, Wudia, Wudia al Nas, the Ladi Bi Bakata Mubaraka. Subhanallah. That was the sample of Tawheed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where the people come there. After that, Mecca, during Rasulullah's time, became a place of 
شرك لا حول الله بالله inside around كعبة كعبة الله the Allah's house inside it and around it they all together about more than 360 statues أصنام to worship other than Allah can you imagine that and everyone knows this is a house of Ibrahim this is a house of Tawheed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is a house of uh, worshipping Allah only the first house but how a shaitan work استحوذ عليهم الشيطان ونساهم ذكر الله شيطان secure you know control them make them forget about ذكر الله سبحانه وتعالى remembering of him that's how the changes is so Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم came you know uh, in that environment and took from him 13 years دعوة in مكة to invite people how the changes how it going to be يدعو إلى سبيل ربك بالحكمة والموعظة الحسنة. Invite to the path of your Lord with حكمة, wisdom, موعظة الحسنة, good advice, lean advice. وجادلهم بلا تحسن. If there's argument, you be the best in your argue, in a best way, lean way, nice way, polite way. See, 13 years plus 10 years in مدينة, 23 years, other changes happen. And now we are more than 1,400 years already, and the changes, alhamdulillah, happen and maintained. How these change, the change of people from total out of service, the mushrikeen, to people whom they are mu'mineen billah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is true risala, message. And the message secured, the Quran, sunnah, the understanding, and that makes the people follow the straight path. The path of Al-Habib Al-Mustafa who have been sent as Rahmah Lil-Alameen Alayhi Salat Was Salam. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said Inna Allah la yughayiru ma bi qawmin hatta yughayiru ma bi anfusihim. Surah Al-Rad verse 11 which means indeed Allah does not change uh, the situation of people. His favor uh, of any nation on any nation until they change their own selves. And that things happen in two ways. Situation to change from bad to good, if they change themselves for good, or from good to bad, if they change themselves to bad. It has two ways. Yeah. If someone who's good changes, if he become a bad person, his situation also will change. Allah will change it. His name will be spoiled. His reputation will be uh, bad. May Allah protect us. But if he change for good, his situation will be changed and his reputation will be great in the eyes of the people and more importantly in the Quran al Karim. So, brothers and sisters, changes uh, uh, have to be to benefit the people, not to create fitna, not to say I am right and wrong, especially if you are in, in position or in your in somewhere for a short while. Mansanna the Sunnah al-Hasana, if you do something good and people follow it, you'll get its reward. But if something bad and people follow it, you'll get its result. Don't say, I didn't mean that. You're not the men meant that, but you're, they are the one who have planted it. Na'udhu Billah. That fitna. And the fitna grow in this bad way. May Allah protect us. So, three brothers and sisters, we need changes. Changes for good. Not changes by taking people's rights and thinking that's our right. Simply because Al-Quran Al-Kareem in a verse talking about the um, defrauders, the one, those whom they never balance the weight. They make people lose in their weight. Al-Mutaffifin. Surah Al-Mutaffifin in Al-Quran Al-Kareem, uh, the surah number 83. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in this surah, Wailun lil mutaffifin. Ruin is for the defrauders, those who measures loss. Alladhina idha ktalu ala nas yastawfoon. Those who when they take the measure from others, take it in full. Because it's for them. Wa idha kaluhum aw wazanuhum yukhsiroon. Whereas when they give others after measuring or weighing, weighing, they give them less. Ala yadunnu ulaika annahum mabuuthun liyawmin azim. 
Wait, what? Do they not expect that they will be raised? To be raised for a great day? يَوْمَ يَقُومُ النَّاسُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ The day when everyone will stand before the Lord of the creation, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Mutafifin here is not that mean uh, those whom when you buy from them, you know, uh, if one kg you find is 900 grams. No. Sometimes, we you see, those they will take from people in full, but when they sell to them, in less. And they think they are good, and when they find faults in people, they will talk about it, but they never talk about themselves. I give you an example. There are some uh, someone who sell, uh, you know, milk to a grocery shop every day. So the farmer, and he's a poor guy. Then one day, the grocery shop owner, the grocer, uh, he wait, put in a way, you know, that milk. And he found out that it's not one kg, it's 900 grams. Then he was, he waited for the farmer to come and he was scolding him. How come you sell for me all this way? Milk, uh, not, uh, you know, uh, one kg in full, 900 grams. So the farmer was listening to him. He says, sir, I don't have a scale in my house to weigh the, 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 the you know, the milk. But I bought from you one kg of sugar, and I made that sugar my, uh, uh, like for my scale, they have, you know, this, the, 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 the weight. And therefore, I just put it, you know, and when it's balanced, the milk with the sugar, that means one kg. So who started with cheating, <laughs> defraud, is the grocer himself. He is happy to cheat people, but... Uh, He's unhappy when he thinks people are cheating him. Now, the frauders or those who you know, cheat in the weight is not that all. Not only this one. Allah doesn't mean only these people. Then who is that? Example. The husband who wants his rights from his wife completely. My wife and I have rights of, over you. But when she asks for her right, he don't want to give. That's example. Or the wife, she said, I have right over you, the husband. But when the husband asks her, she don't want. Okay, that's one. The teacher who took his salary every month teaching students. You know, but he is, he ignored many situations and he never follow up teaching and to make sure this new generation whom they are the best investment in our life, the youth, and the, in the schools, he never care for them. That's the, 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 the doctor who put in his mind, first of all, how much the, 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 the payment, not people's life. He depends on money. And when he go in a, in a normal hospital, like a government hospital, he give anything you know, any medicine, or don't have time, or asking people to come to his private clinic. Mutafifin is a defrauder also. A defrauder, one who wants his relatives to ask and to call him to say, how is he? But when he doesn't do that, and when they ask him why, he never called to see how we, how, how are we, how we kept, and you know, to ask about us, he will find faults. Oh, he found, oh, I'm busy, I was like this. <laughs> See this all. The, 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 the officer who been appointed to look after people's interest, but instead he look after his own interest and make people's interest delay or ruin them. Na'udhu billah. Anyone who is a boss, owner of company, organization, and he has his you know, employees working for him, and he never give them, or he make he give them, he make them feel that they're begging him while not, they're working for him. Without them, his organization, his job, his office, his market will fail.
And we have ex lots of examples. These are the people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, do they not know that they will be raised to a great day where Allah himself going to ask him, question him? Oh, this is something for us, brother, sister, have to think carefully. Therefore, if you ever thought that you are one of these people, please change immediately. Change. So that Allah will change your situation. Don't believe me your prayers. Don't believe me. They'll say, I fast, I do, I hajj, I go to hajj, I fast Ramadan, I pray, I pray tahajjud. Why Allah doing that to me? Why I'm not happy? Why this? You see, the situation not depend on uh, what we call it, your prayers only. You have to check the corners of the life. Where is the fault? There must be a fault. When the doctor want to check the, the, the patient and he could not find the, uh, the illness, what he will do, he put him in a CT scan or MRI to check whole body to find where is the fault. And then therefore he will give the right medicine. You have to check yourself. You have problem with your parents, you have problem with your children, maybe with your neighbors, with your workers, you know, maybe with animal around you, right? Could be anywhere. Where is the fault and where you need to change? Then after that, in Allah, la yughayir ma biqawmin, hatta yughayir ma bishim, the Yusuf Allah's change happen because you have changed yourself. Brothers, sisters, all of us, we are a people need to change. Change in our attitude, change in our talk, change, change, change. Change in how we look to the people. If I'm a person of position, if I'm a rich person, this is a trust being given to me by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why this trust being given to me? To serve Allah's creatures, to do better and better and better. These are the things, brothers and sisters, we have to think of it because we are Allah's servants and my morality, my religion, without changing for good, without the help, without looking after ourselves and others in a perfect way, our life won't be beautiful. Therefore, don't blame your religion, but blame your moral characters. May Allah protect us and keep us always healthy, physically and spiritually, and to change ourselves for better, and to be among those whom they change be to, to people for the best of dunya and akhirah. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Rabbana taqabbal minna uqmanna waj'alna min ibadika al-salihin. Hudat al-muhtadeen la dhalin wa la mudhalin. Waftah alayna fituh al-arifin. Wardu anna ya rahman al-dunya al-akhirah. Allahumma sarif anna al-balaa wa al-wabaa wa al-ahat wa al-afat wa al-amraad wa al-asqam al-zahir wa al-batin wa al-masaab wa al-mahan fitan ma al-amtan ya rahman al-dunya al-akhirah. Allahumma alhamna fa inna kabina rahim. ولا تعذبنا فإنك علينا قادر ولطو بنا مولانا بلا طائف لطيف لطفك الخفي يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه لطو بنا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيفا لم يزل بنا فيما نزل إنك لطيف لم تزل لطو بنا والمسلمين وارضى عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة في الآخرة حسنة وخينا عذاب النار يا الله protect us from the evil of sin and unseen help us يا الله to change ourselves to be better people better human beings better believers and uh, to find the good results of our changes in our life, all the corners of our life, protect us, Ya Allah, from being controlled by our ego or by shaitan or by wiswas. Let us, Ya Allah, be always in a straight path. And Ya Allah, keep us, give us the strength to be in a straight path. And let us, Ya Allah, be kind in all our matters of our life, with full of mercy and generosity, so that we will gain your mercy and your generosity. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa salli wa sallam barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Jazakumullah khair, my beloved brothers and sisters. Looking forward to be with you once again, inshaAllah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.